Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've created this look and I've given a review on the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collaboration, which I've got my hands on. I've purchased the um, two liquid lipsticks and two lip glosses and um, two of the palettes as well. And throughout this video, I'll be giving a review of how I found these. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, it means a lot if you can. So please um, hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you've liked this look. First things first. This is so nice. The packaging is just amazing. The only thing I don't like is the those are colors, if you can see. Um, it's not straight. Be out the side. Oh, inside the palette, you get four colors. These are the colors. Now, Suze and Harpoon are supposed to be used uh, wet, the other two are supposed to be used normal, however, you can use them wet as well. So, um, first impression, it's got a mirror at the top as well. I uh, don't want to blind you, but yeah. Um, it feels a little bit cheap, like inside it, the, um, the metal. Not metal, but plastic, the plastic um, cover. Um, it feels a little bit cheap. Um, other than that, the colours look amazing, so we'll see how that um, is on the on the eye. And then I got four lipsticks. Oh that's nice. It's like a peachy nude but creamy. It's like an everyday kind of lipstick. And it's got the like um, signature engraved in it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but so that was no shade. And then the other one is again a nude color. It's a bit more brown. And I'll swatch this one as well next to it so you can see the difference. Okay, so this one's a little bit more nude and darker. I would say. Probably look really nice on like a darker skin tone, or if you're um, tanned already, then it will just like it will be really nice to kind of just blend in. Next, we have this called Sauvage, Sauvage, Sauvage. I hope I'm saying this right. Which has got again like the same kind of um, packaging, but this like um, top bit is gold. Here it is up closer. So it's like a very dark burgundy, rich color. Looks really nice, I think. This will be really nice in winter. And the next one is exactly the same, but this is, oh great, the sticker came off, so. Don't know what color this is. Let me see, it says in the receipt. Dum, dum, dum. Hot fire, hot fire. And let's see what this is what it looks like. It's a little bit of a like orangey shade. Hopefully you can see this good. Um, but yeah, really nice. Guess you can just have like um, settled, uh, settled eye look and then put this on and you're, you're just good to go. You're good to go. So. Let me get a wipe because um, I was clever enough not to uh, bring a wipe to the table. So I'm gonna go get a wipe and then come back and do a look on it. Yeah! Actually, I'm trying to take these off now and the nude colours came up really nicely. However, the other two colours kind of stained my arm a little bit. So you can see, like, I'm just really trying to take it off. But yeah, they do stain a little, so keep that in mind. It's going to be uh, a little bit tricky to take off. Yeah. So, I'm going to try and recreate the look that she done for the palette release, which was like um, this burgundy, silverish, a lot of colours in one. This colour right here, 
and she had it oh let me not blind you this one here and she had it like all over the eye and then had like a little burgundy um, in the crease so I'm gonna get a picture of that and try and recreate it because I really 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 love them I'm also gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette I absolutely love this palette I've seen a lot of comments about it and people commenting that it's too much because it's a Morphe palette and um, you don't even get a mirror in it and blah 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 but the shades in it are really good I think it's very pigmented it's got good transition colors so if you haven't got it then I would say get it because everyone needs this I literally use it every day I'm trying to talk for my videos more however I'm missing the music so I'll put in a little music in the background for you guys, but we have no music now. Probably gonna go in with this colour right here. Brown, nude, transition colour, you know, nothing special. Um, got a blending brush and I'm going right in my crease with like very gentle light touches because I don't want to screw it up. I always find it a little bit difficult to do this eye because I feel a bit, I don't know, weird just moving my arm and trying to blend this eyeshadow on this side. But saying that, I think most of the time the eyeshadow comes out better on this eye than it does on the other eye and I have more control over it. So I'm actually going to spray some Fix Plus on it. Very dark. And put it in my eye. Now I do say you should apply with your finger, but oh, I find it a bit hard to apply with my finger. However, it's really creamy and lightweight, so it does seem to apply really nicely. Like you don't need much effort to apply it. And it's very pigmented, so that's good. That's not too good right now. It's all over the place, but we shall fix it. Not gonna lie, I'm not too happy that I have to um, apply with my finger because I am a rubbish at doing that. So I'm gonna try and apply it with a uh, brush. This purple right here on my um, crease so I can blend it out so it doesn't look so bad. I'm gonna spray the brush, this is just a normal, what is it, Morphe M33 eye brush, just as like a buffering brush. And then go in my corner with it so we can fix this mess that I've made. I'm gonna take a little bit of this like, um, burgundy reddish colour here and mix that with the purple. I've just taken this brush so I'm going to just buff it out. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills like duo brush. And I'm just gonna blend it out so there's no like sharp lines and it just looks a little bit more blended. I do like how it looks, like the faded purple into like the blue. That looks really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna take more of that um, color. I think I'm gonna take it on my brush actually. Let's see, give it another go. And then put it yeah, again. I don't think this is buildable because I don't see it making more of a difference if I put more on. Okay, so that's good. There's no brush line, so I guess you can go in with your finger first, trying to build the first layer, and then you can go in with your brush and then try and like pat it on, not like blend it out. I'm gonna go in with that burgundy red colour from the Jack and Hill palette. I 
And then I'm going to spray my brush with the Fix Plus and go in with the purple shade um, from their palette on top of that burgundy colour. So this is like the finished look. Super easy, super quick. Um, and it's something different, I think. I'm gonna put some mascara on. Okay guys, so here is the finished look with some mascara on. I like it, pretty nice. Well done. I hope you can see like the glitter in it. Suze is here. Here's Harpoon for you. Ta-da! Very beautiful goldish green. I'm gonna go on to lips now and I'm gonna do the nude shades so I can take them off easily and then I'll do the other ones. I'm gonna start with hmm, the lightest one. No shade. Okay, so this is it on my lips. Excuse the not very perfect application. However, I'm gonna take it off. Um, verdict, I don't really like him. I'm trying to get used to it. Mm, I don't know. They're just a little bit too like orangey. Maybe for my skin tone. Um, if I was a little bit darker, so like when I'm fully tanned, I might like this a bit more, but because I'm quite pale at the moment, I think it just it just doesn't suit me. It doesn't really it doesn't do much for me, does it? It it feels very comfortable on the lips. Very creamy. I'm not sure if it will settle into like a more of a matte state or it would stay like this, but if it does stay like this, then if I eat or anything, it's just gonna come off. So I'm going in with more creamier, please. Definitely don't need any more creamier. Okay, so on to what I think about it. I like it more than no shade. However, I still, I don't know, I feel like still not for me um, again the formula is exactly the same very nice and creamy um, very lightweight on the lips but it's just that orange color like I just think that both of them look quite orange so I'm gonna put it aside I don't like it okay so I'm gonna try the hot fire because I want to leave the other one called Savage for the end because that's the one I wanted to go with this look. Um, I'm gonna line my lips first because I'm terrible at doing this. Very orangey, but I quite like this orange. Maybe not with this eyeshadow. However, with like a very like neutral eyeshadow, this will look really nice. It's not something I would gravitate towards um, if I see it in a shop. However, putting it on my lips and like seen a lot of pictures of people that actually have it on it is really nice and it dried really quickly it's not super matte it's still got a little bit of cream in it but nothing like the lipsticks maybe I'll do a look on it like a full makeup look and then the lipstick would like kind of be in place more and you can get more of a feel of what it would look like with like the correct eyeshadow on or the eyeshadow that I would put with this lipstick and now let's take it off and see how quickly it will come off ah not as quickly as I would have hoped I'm gonna use some oil on this wipe so it'll be a lot easier <laughs> this will be funny when actually my boyfriend um, looks at a video because he looks at a video before I put it up and then I'm like, uh, what do you think? What should I change? Because he always has something to say. Good. Something good to say. Uh, but yeah, when you look at it, babe, I'm uh, washing my lips with cooking oil. Okay, so I finally managed to take it off. Um, it's not the easiest to take off, so probably don't try and change your lipstick throughout the day because you might fail like I did. I'm gonna line my lips again. Okay, so this is Sauvage On. Like a very dark, vampy, burgundy, 
dark color lipstick. Overall, yes, I like it. I quite like dark lipsticks in general, so. Um, this is definitely up my street. It's something I'm comfortable with. Um, I would say it's more like a evening look because I probably wouldn't wear this so much out in daytime, although I would first thing in the morning put it on because it's me. Thank you for watching guys. I really hope you enjoy this makeup look and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.